Hi, welcome back to another installation of CustomJunctionBoxes.com. What we're going to show you today on this video is a uh, standard 5x5x2 five by five by installation. It's actually a bit of a different junction box. You, you can't really find them this size. They're odd. They're usually uh, put only in evens. But we really found that this was a good size for the application out in the field. And a lot of cameras today, what you'll find, come with mail connections. Um, and sometimes they're not as complicated as coming with all the other connectors and adapters. Um, sometimes you get lucky and you don't get that female connector. So in a male case scenario, this would be the perfect application for this uh, about one inch, maybe a little bit less, uh, pass-through. So what we're going to do is we're going to pretend that this yellow cable is going to go to your switch. Um, basically, it would fit through here. You would... Just actually, I'm sorry, you would take this out, you take your CarFlex, which is three quarter inch, standard, and you would put that through the hole, just imagining that this would actually connect to a piece of conduit on the outside of the wall. You would then pass this cable through the hole inside the junction box, which obviously has lock nuts and washers for waterproofing that we do and I drill out to the sixteenth of an inch to make sure that there's no way that water is passing through there and then you want to make sure you securely attach like that your car flex and then you just tighten that up that's it and that's on there now this would basically go to any piece of conduit you'd have another connector and this would basically bridge on this side like that once the connector passes through the wall. And we do sell all these pieces online. Just kind of imagine that for a second. If you have questions about that, you can email us and we'll explain it to you. Now a camera, not this one per se, but you can imagine that it would be a mail connection, would then um, take our lock nut, which is a three-quarter, pass this through here, pass this through the hole on the inside, and you grab your rubber gasket split like so. Okay, 8.5 millimeter split goes on the inside, the cabling. We then put that straight through there. Very easy. And then we bring the connectors through and we tighten it. And as we tighten it, what that does is that creates a seal in that line that's there. And that actually creates that waterproofing along with the washers and lock nuts and the other things that we do to create the box to make them waterproof for you guys. These are actually sold on our website as well. They're simple um, Cat5 or Cat6 connectors. So they can couple and meet each other on the inside. Now, what would be happening is, you know, once this side would be on a switch, it would provide power through here and then power to the camera, essentially. And basically, you would be done, and you would have a rubber seal on the outside of the box, and you would close that down just like so you add your screws in and you're done. That's the end of your installation. You just kind of screw these into your wall or on your soffit or anywhere that you want. Anyway, thank you for another successful installation. And if you have questions, please email us. Thank you.